Hello and welcome to Ghana Web's coverage of the 2023 AFCON with me, Joseph Adamafi, reporting from Ivory Coast. I'm sure you've definitely seen the video circulating on social media about the purported attack on the Black Stars team after their game against Cape Verde. Well, we're going to speak with Ghanaian sports journalist Sadiq Adams, who reported about what exactly ensued at the Black Stars Hotel after the game against Cape Verde. But before then, I'd like us to take a look at the video circulating on social media. Then from there, we'll zoom in to our interview with Sadiq Adams. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Ghana Web's coverage of the 2023 AFCON. I'm here with our Ghanaian sports journalist. Yes, uh, SWAG Awards Sports Journalist of the Year, I think 2022. Well, Sadiq Adams, um, let's start off with what ensued after the Black Stars game against Cape Verde. What really ensued that uh, caught up the confrontation and all the noise that we've been hearing? Uh, well, um, at, at, at the end of the game, we attended a press conference with uh, with Pesutin. Mm -hmm. And um, when we left, like an hour or two after the game, I had an information uh, with videos and pictures that there were guys at the team hotel uh, who had laid ambush at the lobby, and nobody knew what we, they were doing, except when the coach entered the lobby with the players and at the end of the game when they returned to the Pullman Hotel. So it was at this point that one guy menacingly threatened. He, he walked towards the coach in a very heated confrontation and he nearly, he nearly hit the coach. Okay. And that is what happened. And uh, the, the way the noise and the confrontation was so um, serious, they had to uh, stand up from their, their seats. That some two diplomats some government officials from the Jubilee House oh. had to go in to separate the guy and held him to allow Coach Pesutin. Uh, what was more serious is that Hilton was with Inaki and some other players, but when he was being attacked, the players were so scared mm -hmm. that they had to move away because they didn't know what, who next would be the victim. That was when the guy stood up and said, let's hold this guy back. But because of the noise of the confrontation, the team officials, the security officials around the Black Stars, especially the national security officer, was seen in the video uh, calling for the arrests of the guy. And he was arrested and handcuffed. And I have videos and pictures of that. He was handcuffed by the Ivorian police. Two of them seized him out of the hotel. Uh, whatever happened at the, at the out of the hotel is something that I cannot say. But after some minutes or hours, uh, he was left uh, alone because I also understand that there are people around football who went to uh, speak to the Ivorian police to allow the matter to be settled amicably. But I don't understand why somebody who is just confronting a coach will be arrested <laughs> if it wasn't that serious. But there are eyewitness accounts. And uh, this is a presidential staffer who has spoken on record that he witnessed the account. He has narrated the site. The guy was handcuffed. They, they instigated the arrest. So... It was very serious, but like journalists, you understand the Ghana FA to try and water this down, to bring calmness around the team. But clearly, there are issues of um, a serious matter that should be dealt with. Well, um, why do you think this particular fan is coming from? You suspect that it's something that is internal. Well, from the uh, presidential staffer, uh, they said they, from their intelligence, these two guys were sent so it's an orchestration by higher hands in power who plotted for them to frustrate the coach to frustrate the coach sort of but i like i said how do you in a way have ordinary fans having access to such a high security zone like the black stars hotel when media, men cannot, when media men cannot go there with accreditation these are guys without accreditation so if these guys are not known around football if these guys are not familiar with the terrain, how can they enter the Black Star Hotel, 
have the, the, the temerity to confront a coach and uh, make attempt of attacking him. You simply cannot, uh, when you put rational I mean, thoughts together, you simply cannot say that this is something that was done by uh, normal people. But well, they have been uh, taken out of the custody of the police and uh, I think the officials say they will deal with it amicably. But that is why we understand. It happened, there are videos that uh, corroborate this. But do you think where we've gotten to as a country that has played football for more than five decades, half a century, we should be, be doing this? Especially when we've witnessed May 9th and everything. Well, these are things that do happen when fans are angry. But I don't expect it to get to the level where they confront a coach at the team hotel, not even at the stadium, at the team hotel. But like you said, these are not things that should be happening. But what do we do to people who perpetrate some of these acts? We, le we leave them to uh, go scot-free. So they, it will keep happening. If you do that, you encourage that kind of conduct, which is not good. So we are, we are still experiencing such kind of um, prehistoric acts around the team because those who do it are not punished like they should. All right. So we just heard from Sadiq Adams telling us what exactly went on after Ghana's game against uh, Cape Verde in the opener of the 2023 AFCON. We hope that this will not repeat itself after Ghana's game against Egypt. Well, until then, my name is Joseph Adamafi reporting for Ghana Web and Ivory Coast. See you in the next one. Thank you.